Hello and welcome back. So you guys remember me doing a video on the Obspot Tail Air. If you didn't, link's up there and this is the Obspot Tail Air. So the software and the firmware on this just got a huge update and that's what we're going to be talking about. So stick around and we'll let you know what the update is for the Opspot Tail Air. Okay, so looking at the software and this, just to go over this really quick and then we'll dive into the software. So we've got a complete overhaul of the software that you see on your computer and on the phone, and we now have SRT, uh, Secure Reliable Transmission for Video. Uh, I talked about in the previous video when I was doing the overview and the tutorials on getting this up and running and getting it set up about NDI, how you had to purchase a key for NDI, which cost you another $199 on top of a $399 camera, uh, to get NDI to work. We don't have to worry about that anymore. If you want to use NDI, that's how you have to do it. But um, SRT, now you can send a video over your network using this, and you can also do it over the public internet if you wanted to, uh, reliably, uh, low latency, and with encryption. So that's what we're going to show you. We're going to show you how to set this up, show you a new look of the software, and all of the things uh, that have been updated with this. So let's hop into the software. Okay, so... If we go into the software, the OpSpot Center here, as usual, we're going to go ahead and connect, and we're connected to the software. Okay, so to update the software, you would go into this little cog right here. Now, yours might look different than mine because I've already updated it, but click that little cog and then go into General Settings, and your software version should be uh, available right here. If it is able to be updated, you can click the Update right there. Same with the firmware on the device. If you have a new firmware, you can go to more and then we'll scroll all the way down to your firmware version right, right here. If uh, there is a firmware update, it will say it right here and, and it'll also give you the update and upgrade guide and the notes of the firmware. The notes on this firmware, if we click it, um, they added SRT mode, which is, <laughs> which is huge, huge. It's an open source NDI pretty much with encryption. Faced uh, framing features, support for 720p, support uh, for 60 frames or 59.94 frames, uh, 60 and 49 frames. Optimize the NDI multi multicache functionality. And then uh, some known bug fixes. So there's that. Also the layout and the UI is a little bit different. If you'll notice from the other one, we've, we, we, have some, we have some new things here. Obviously, we have the camera. If we go into the camera right here and bring up the camera, we now have some settings off to the side where we can do some changing of settings, landscape and portrait. Didn't have that before where it was right here, your bit rate, your recording format. And then we have some audio, so we can change the audio if we wanted to. Uh, if we've got it hooked up, we can do some audio mixing. Didn't have that prior, we do now. Global hotkeys are the same. We went over these prior. So again, that video is linked up there if you wanna, if you wanna see me go over all of that stuff. Your server connections, and then your general settings. But let's get to the uh, the SRT stuff. Now for the SRT stuff, you, you do need to do it within the app on a phone. So we're gonna hop over to there and, and, and take a look at that. As you can see, I'm moving this kind of fast. It says recording NDI, RTSP, SRT, and HDMI only support one 4K, but you don't see any SRT in here right now. 
as I'm recording this video, the only way to get SRT is on the app or the Obspot Start app on the phone or on a tablet, Android or uh, Apple, both of, them, both of them use it. So we're going to hop over to the phone and we're going to show you how to do this really quick. And it works uh, with vMix and OBS just fine and we'll show you that too. So let's hop into it. Okay, so here we are on the Obspot or on my phone and we have the Obspot hooked up into a capture card. Uh, it, it, capture card for the one that I'm using is, is linked in the description. What we need to do is go ahead and click these three little buttons right here, the little hamburger buttons right here. I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice you'll have to scroll down, obviously, and we'll get to SRT mode. To do this the, the, the right way to get OBS to read it or vMix, whatever the case may be, whatever you're using, we need to go into SRD, SRT settings. Now you've got two different modes. You've got caller and listener. Caller being the one that is taking in uh, the, the feed. The listener is the one that is putting out the feed. It's, um, I know it sounds kind of backwards. You would think caller and listener would be the different, but the, the, the camera is, is the one that is sending out the signal so it's, it, it's, it's, it's listening for something to call it. So if we look at the local address, this is going to be different for you on your, on, your, on your computer or your network. But this is what it is for me. Your local port 5000, if your router or your network doesn't allow this port to be used, you may, may not get a connection. But... This is not changeable. You cannot change this. It is a default port. Stream ID, you can make this whatever you want. And then the delay is 120 milliseconds. Um, that's, not that, that's not that much of a delay. And then obviously you have an encrypt. It says in the documentation that you want a 240 millisecond or, or a quarter of a second uh, round trip uh, going from there to there so where you can get low latency. So just leave it at 120. You can... Change it if you want, um, but I'll just leave it at default. And then you can encrypt if you want. So after you're done with all of that, you would hit the save button right here and then go back. And then where it says SRT mode right here, we're just going to go ahead and click it and it will give you a warning. After enabling SRT mode, UVC, RTSP, NDI, and live streaming will not be available. It will be available. <laughs> That's just That just means that um, it, you won't have it available in any of those other modes. So we're going to go ahead and click Done. And SRT is, is available for us. So let's hop out of this and then hop into OBS. Okay, as you can see, we are now in OBS. And I've got my capture card running. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and kill this capture card really fast and then we're going to add another another source we are going to add a it, you would think it'd be a video capture device but it's not we're going to add a media source click ok once we get to here we need to go to this local file and uncheck mark it so we got network buffering and and reconnect delay uh, there is SRT built into OBS, so th that's, this is how you would get to it. For input, we are going to use our SRT address that we had prior. Let me move this over here so we can show you this really quick. Turn back on our capture device. If we go back to SRT, it's this address right here. So we will go SRT, Secure Reliable Transmission. colon and the two slashes, the forward slashes, your IP address, colon, and then your port, and then question mark. Now I just went back out of there so we could see I could show you what, what, I was, what I was using right there, but you have to make sure the SRT mode is on. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. 
and you'll notice it's there. This is over the network, and I'll show you the, the, the ob spot right here. I'll show you the ob spot that it's not plugged into anything. Couldn't kill the media source. There is the ob spot right there. It is not plugged into anything. And so where you can see my camera is right in front of it. So, so there you go. SRT mode on the ob spot and the, the new layout of the, the software. What do you guys think uh, about the new feature on the tail air? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions about this, again, um, comment section. I try to answer as many questions as, as I possibly can and as quickly as I can when they come through. So, yeah, take a look at it. Uh, when the, uh, the, the new uh, update and firmware comes out, that's what it is. And if you need help or you want to see it more on, like, vMix and getting it set up on there, I can do a video on that also. So, once again, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.